Hey guys, how's it going? Today is going to be day six of the advent calendar of 2020. So let's just jump right into the stocking of holiday spirits and grab something here. Uh, what do we got? I feel, I feel glass, so I guess that's good, right? I mean, should, should be good, right? All right, so let's see what we got here. Oh, looks like we got a uh, Four Roses single barrel. So this is Kentucky straight bourbon, and looks like it is about, um, it's 50% alcohol by volume, so this is 100 proof. I, I don't think I've tried Four Roses on this channel yet, so I'd say let's go ahead and hop into this. Nice thing about these advent uh, calendar is that it's a uh, it's a good way for me to try out all the different kinds of whiskey out there, and eh, without breaking the budget because I was I was paying so much for the big bottles. Ooh, oh, it's got a small little cork. <laughs> that's cute. Apologize if you hear a humming. That's my 3D printer. So let's go ahead and smell this. Uh, generic uh, bourbon flavors here. Kind of getting a little bit of spice here. Maybe there's some rye in here. I think there's, because there's definitely a lot of graininess to this. Graininess a little bit er herbal to it, so that's why I'm thinking it's uh, rye in here. Sweet, caramel, vanilla. Getting maybe a little bit of maple syrup here. Let's go ahead and hop into it. So there's something fruity in that. Very refreshing and nice, but I can't quite say what it is. I want to say maybe like a like an apple or a pear. But wow, that flavor profile is different than any others that I've tried. I gotta say, that's that's something that is so different, but I love it. It's, on the nose, it's very subtle, like, you know, traditional bourbon flavors, but then when you actually take it in on the palate, spicy at first, I'm still thinking there's rye in there uh, because there's this great refreshing herbal notes to this. And then it dives into brown sugar. I want to say some cherry in there. My goodness, that's that's tasty. Especially for this small little bottle to come with its own little cork. That's cute. The finish is relatively long. It's nice and warm. A little a little spicy, but overall though, it's still it's still nice. It's uh, it's I gotta say this is just a burst of flavor. It totally like just wowed me. Very good. Oh my goodness floral notes is what I'm getting. That's what I was thinking of uh, because after this like punch of spice, all of a sudden it comes into this herbal floral, very inviting, very soothing, very delicate. And then it just kind of cascades into this nice, subtle sweetness. And it stays with you for a bit. I have got to pick up a bigger bottle than this because that's not going to last me at all. We're going to be doing the ranking system. So top, middle, and bottom shelf. For the price, I think you can get this bottle here for about 40 or $50. In the bigger size, I'd say that's a steal for a single barrel and one that is just rich in flavor. I think because this is so unique, and I'd say just something that is like absolutely special. I mean, I don't know. I'm kind of like maybe top or mid shelf here uh, just because it, you know, that that burst of flavor is something that that just absolutely wowed me. And for the price, I mean, I hear that you can get this bottle for maybe 40, 50 bucks or so. And I think that's just a great price to to pay. I mean, I've noticed now that most whiskey is really good at the $40 to $50 range, maybe $60, but anything more than that, it's just su subjective, of course. Um, but but I think that, oh, top or mid. Um, because because I think it, this, is, uh, this is widely available, I think I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the uh, middle shelf. So, but yeah, that's gonna sit and it's gonna proudly sit there. And I'm gonna definitely get myself a bottle. So with that being said, that is it for today's advent calendar and we'll come back for tomorrow for more whiskeys from the uh, stocking of holiday spirits here. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.